Ito na, na ang programang magiging gabay mo upang ikaw ay matuto. Dere 12 Radio Skwela Makinig at matuto. Depe 12 Radio Skwela Alternatibong programang handog ng Deped Soxer Gen na kahit saan ka man ay matututo ka. Depe 12 Radio Skwela Naguguluhan na lilito Paano ba kung matututo? Good afternoon our dear grade 10 students. This is your school on air in grade 10 English. We're glad to be learning with you through radio. I am Mr. Danilo de Coquilia Jr. from Buaya National High School, your teacher on air. How are you, our dear students? Are you in a comfortable place to listen to our broadcast? Please do. Have you already eaten your meal? Very good if yes. Your brain will absorb ideas faster if your stomach is full. But if you have not eaten your meal yet, please do. Greetings also to the parents and guardians listening out there. Thank you for your untiring support to your children. Okay, everyone. This lesson that we are about to discuss is the continuation of Lesson 1. Do you still remember the lesson we had earlier? Yes, it's about writing news report. What did you learn from our previous lesson? Great! You learned to write a news report using proper order of writing news and getting and using information from news report. These skills help you recognize relevant information from news reports that could help you in everyday life. You can now get your self-learning module for the lesson using information sources in everyday life. Did you take it, my dear students? Also, please get your notebook and your pen. Are you holding these materials now, my dear students? Very good! Indeed, you are now ready for our discussion. In a few minutes, we will formally start our lesson. So by now, you can go to the bathroom if needed and go back soon. Take note to wash your hands properly. Hello? Are you back? In this module on using information sources in everyday life, you are expected to use information from news reports, speeches, informative talks, panel discussions, and etc. in everyday life. Specifically, you are expected to use information from various sources such as news reports, speeches, informative talks, panel discussions, and etc that can be used in everyday life and promote the interest and sense of responsibility in validating the quality of information needed in academic and personal use. Further, you're also expected to develop the abilities to organize information and construct into a text. This is English 10, Quarter 1, Module Number 3, Lesson Number 2. Hello again, my dear students. Before we'll start with our lesson, let me ask you first. What do you think are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? Example, one person is good in English but is lagging in mathematics. Every one of us have different strengths and weaknesses. Sometimes, those weaknesses can make us feel worthless. However, if you rediscover and recreate yourself, 
it will definitely transform you into an extraordinary individual. Take a look on page number 11 of your module. A speech about self-worth is there. After reading that, do the activity 21.1 .1 on the same page. Write your answer in your notebook. Ready? Start! Hello again, dear students. How was your first activity for this lesson? Before we move forward, let us check first your work. Turn your module on page number 24 and check your work. Who got all three questions correctly? Who missed the correct answers? Very good if you got it all correctly. To those who missed the correct answer, don't worry, dear. Do better on our next activity. You did well on your first activity. You can now proceed to the second one. On pages number 11 to 12, activity 2.2 of your learning module dear. Just write the letter of your answer in your notebook. Ready? Start! Enjoy! Alright, how did you find the activity number 2? Let us check your answers, students. Check your work honestly, dear students, okay? Turn to page number 24 to know how well you did in your second activity. Give one point for each correct response. Start checking it now, my dear students. Go! How did it go? How was your scores? To those who got 4 to 5 scores, congratulations! You are doing great! To those who got 1 to 3, try to do the activity again. Read the questions carefully and compare the results. Do you want to know the 4 different types of speech according to purpose? The number one is the informative type. This provides interesting and useful information to the audience. Kindly read the example there in your module. Very good! Next is the demonstrative type that teaches you something that includes a demonstration on how to do a thing. Please read the example there in your module. Good! The next type is the entertainment type. This type provides pleasure and enjoyment that makes the audience laugh. An example for this is, kindly read me telling about a hilarious movie. And the last type is the persuasive type. The purpose of this type is to convince people or change in some way. Start doing something. And again, Read the example of this in your module. Yes, very good, dear students. Hello there again, my dear students. Before we proceed to our next activity, please give me a smile. That's it. Learning is fun, so you have to smile every time. This time, we will be making an example of informative speech on page number 13, activity 2.3 of your module. Arrange the 11 information to write an informative speech. Write your answer in your notebook. After 5 minutes, you will hear the bell indicating you to stop writing, okay? Ready? Start!
Time's up! Hello again! How did you go with the activity, my dear students? Did you enjoy making an informative speech? Now that you are finished making an informative speech, we are going to know how far you have learned about each text type. Activity 2.4 on page number 14 of your learning module will test your learning. Write your answer on your notebook. Ready? You may start now. Hello again, dear students. How was your identifying of text types according to Purpose Go? Now this time, let us check your works. Kindly turn your module on page number 24. To check your own work, dear. So got a perfect score of 5? Very good to those who got it. And to those whose scores are 1 to 3, try to review examples and meaning of each type and do the activity again. Congratulations, my dear students! You have gone this far. Now we are finished with our lesson number two in module number three, which is recognizing information from contextualized speech. If you have any questions or would like to clarify, please write them down as well. Include your greetings or requests. We can also request the song you want to hear at our air school. Now that you are finished with lesson number 2 for module number 3, you are now ready for lesson number 3. Be ready to acquire exciting learnings as you move forward with lesson number 3. You are always encouraged to attend to our air school every session. Until next time, I am your teacher on air, Mr. Danilo de Coquilia Jr. from Buaya National High School. Remember, always accept challenges because this will definitely make you confident. Keep up the good work. Happy and have a great day ahead everyone. God bless and goodbye. Alina't makinig at matuto sa'yo